Kuzan Island is a tiny granite outcrop in the middle of the Indian Ocean. For years it was the last refuge of one of the world's rarest birds, the Seychelles magpie robin. Although it has quadrupled its numbers in a decade, it is still one of the world's most endangered birds, and at just over a hundred in number, it is perilously close to extinction. Something which, according to Nirmal Shah of BirdLife Seychelles, doesn't seem to bother the birds at all. One of the main problems for these island birds is that, as you can see, they're very naive. Um, uh, they've grown up in an environment which is free of predators, and they don't know the meaning of fear. So when human beings arrived, they brought all kinds of predators like rats, cats, dogs, etc. Then of course humans themselves destroyed the habitats, destroyed the birds. And these birds were completely unafraid. Once island life was an altogether more leisurely affair. Giant tortoises were dominant and behind them they left a trail of disturbed ground and easy pickings for the insect loving robins. In a world with few predators, the robins had no need for fear, so much so that now they have an alternative to the giant tortoises. Tourists, often completely unaware of the watching eyes, also disturbed the ground, exposing insects to eat. But some rules were made to be broken, so while everyone else is surrounded by magpie robins, the scientist studying them can never find one when she wants one. Kim Oliver is trying to monitor the bird's behavior and foraging habits. It's quite difficult because if you take your eye off them for one second, they fly off and you lose them. Kim is following a female bird as it forages for its next meal. I just think they're uh, cocky individuals. They're so curious when you walk past, they want to know what's going on, they're kind of like little busybodies. I just think they've got a real strong personality to them. The first humans arrived on these islands 250 years ago. With them came guns, cats and rats. The magpie robin, once common throughout the Seychelles, was driven to the brink of extinction and by 1970 there were just 16 left. Helping the birds is hard work. Providing and maintaining nest boxes is a small, if very strenuous, part of the programme run by BirdLife. Joel Soyave manages Cousin, one of the three islands where the birds are found. The main threat to the magpie robin is, is predators. Uh, they can predate on the, either the chick or the eggs. What we've done is to um, restore the habitat, control uh, predators, and uh, also um, provide them with, with uh, nest boxes. Today, the native right skink is the only threat to the magpie robins. The skinks rob nests for eggs and fledglings, but are no match for an angry adult bird. Cousin is a success story, but other islands must also be made safe for the magpie robins if numbers are to continue to recover. Definitely there, there are lessons to be learned and that's why the, uh, the, the uh, BirdLife Seychelles is, is uh, restoring all the islands and eradicate uh, rats so that they can introduce uh, endemic birds, not only magpie robin but also other birds that are endemic to the Seychelles and endangered as well. So the future of the magpie robin is looking bright. But with so few islands where it can live in safety and a population of just 105, there is still a lot of work and uncertainty ahead.